Somebody had called concerned about Jovi. He had been seen the day before in the home alone with just a bowl of water in front of him. And they were concerned. They wanted authorities to go check. Uh, law enforcement did go out. Uh, Detective Evan Camario went out for the Sheriff's Department. The reporting party was the grandmother of uh, Jovi who stated that she had believed that uh, Jovi was still in the residence at the time. And that began the search for the little boy. As great grandma would say, Jovi, Jovi, what the deputy heard was something like a sing song, mm hmm, couldn't make out the words, couldn't make out exactly what it was saying. It was echoing, finding off all the other duplexes in the area. So we were walking around trying to determine, we didn't know all that at the time, trying to determine who was answering us, what they were saying, if this was uh, Jovi that we were looking for. After we could hear a distinct noise of something coming from within the residence, uh, we decided to make entry. Uh, that's when uh, we uh, hoisted uh, Klingley to the window and uh, he opened up the front door for us. When Deputy Klingley went in the home for the first time, he's having to turn on lights. And as he turns on that lights, what he's doing is he's illuminating the filth that's inside. He's seeing um, feces on the floor, urine stains all over the carpet. He's seeing vomit in the portable crib. Um, he's seeing um, stacks and stacks of dishes and trash and overcome uh, trash cans. Deputy Klingley heard again the sing-song hum. It's hard to describe. He wasn't exactly saying words that we could understand. Uh, it's more of a sing-song kind of, kind of answer. They hear a noise above them. At that point, my stomach hit the floor. 